The euro and the pound still are not trading without drastic changes, although there are many reasons for their decline. For instance, the bearish factor for the pound sterling was the fresh UK macro start. Industrial production in the UK contracted to minus 5.1%, and this dismal data indicates that the economy is rapidly sliding into recession. Moreover, the previous report was revised downwards. For comparison, in December, the fugue amounted to minus 2.4%. In the euro area, the situation is somewhat better. The indicator rose again, showing a relatively strong increase of 2%. In the previous months, it climbed by 3.4%, so there are also signs of a slowdown. However, the fugue turned out to be significantly better than the forecast of 0.8%. For this reason, the euro maintained its rise. Yet, both reports are quite negative. In the UK, we see a steep contraction, and in the European Union, industrial production is slowing down. It appears investors are still digesting the inflation report published yesterday. This data limited the upward potential of the US dollar. Investors are now revising their strategies. A sharp drop in inflation was a clear signal about a smaller rate hike by the Fed at the next meeting. The majority of traders are betting on a 25 basis point rate hike. The euro dollar pair jumped to a swing high of the upward cycle following the release of the CPI data. It climbed above the resistance level of 1.08. It was another technical signal about the prolongation of the medium-term trend that began in October last year. If the price consolidates above 1.08, it could trigger an increase in the long positions. If so, the pair may reach the pivot level of 1.10. However, as seen on the chart, the trajectory of the pair is somewhat uneven. Traders are rather cautious. Besides, the euro is of a boat which could lead to a pullback. However, speculators may also ignore technical signals and continue to push the pair higher. It may occur on Monday. The GBP USD pair touched the swing weekly high after a strong jump. For some time, the quote settled above 1.22, however, it did not last long. The price almost immediately retreated as the pound sterling remained extremely overbought. A temporary halt in the upward cycle may indicate a regrouping of the trading forces, so investors may reconsider the overbought signal. In this case, the pair may resume an upward movement quite soon. Yet it needs to ad advance above 1.2250. A consolidation there for too long is also risky. The price may gain enter the range of 1.21 and 1.22 if it declines below 1.2150. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.